Okay. Thank you for the technicality help. Um, I'm about to uh, share about our project here in Indonesia. We have a pilot project called Wikisource Loves Manuscript that uh, handle uh, some works on manuscript, including digitization and uh, working on Wikisource. Um, and it's not uh, quite a simple presentation because we have uh, our uh, equipment for digitization in the field. Uh, so I can, uh, I will uh, make it on two sessions. Uh, one is a short session for the introduction for the program itself and uh, one other is for the practical uh, technique to digitize the manuscript. We brought also the manuscript from Indonesia. Okay, this is the condition of the manuscript we found in the field uh, in many regions in Indonesia, uh, mostly abandoned by uh, the owner uh, or other private collection, not institutional collection. Uh, we, we are not talking about the uh, governmental institution, but uh, this is only, uh, we focus on private collection uh, or uh, private institution uh, like museums or, uh, or self-owned uh, library. And this is uh, a pilot project from uh, Wikimedia Foundation uh, involving our institution in Jakarta, uh, PPIM. Uh, and we have a media partner, uh, which is a big, the major media, uh, one of the major media in Indonesia, which is Tempo. And we uh, do the digitization in three regions, which is three different islands in Indonesia. One is Bali, two Java, and the three is Sumatra. So uh, it's quite uh, far away from Jakarta, especially the uh, Sumatra and Bali. Uh, so it's challenging when we uh, do the uh, field missions. Um, the program itself has two main uh, activity. First is digitization of the manuscript, taking picture, uploading uh, to the medicaments, uh, uh, and then inputting metadata to Wikidata and transcribe the manuscript. It's a, that's about the uh, uh, getting the uh, information about the manuscript. Then we uh, have another uh, activity, uh, which is community en engagement. Uh, we do uh, workshop of Wikisource to the newbies, uh, and then we will have a competition on the uh, transcribing the manuscript. And also we have uh, covered by some local news. Uh, th uh, this is the big uh, workflow for the project. Uh, we can imagine that images from the manuscript can be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons, then uh, the uh, information about the manuscript itself, the uh, the ecological uh, aspect, the size, the, uh, the script, uh, or uh, the text uh, information, like what the story inside, uh, who is the author, and etc. Then we also retrieve the data from Wikimedia, Wikimedia Commons, Wikisource, and we do the transcription for the uh, manuscript with the same script uh, that we got from the field. And then uh, this almost uh, end uh, until this September, uh, we are still working to gathering a whole of the information and a whole of the picture from the uh, regions. So uh, in September, uh, we are going to uh, publish the full report of the uh, progress. So this is the uh, situation of the manuscript digitization. Um, so this is from the fields. Uh, we have Balinese manuscript, palm leaf manuscripts. Uh, this is a musical notation manuscript from Yogyakarta, from Java. Uh, there's an uh, ancient Javanese uh, course who can uh, uh, make this uh, unique tra uh, tra uh, manuscript. And then uh, this is an, 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 in other, another uh, regions. Uh, this is the a workshop for the newbies for the wiki source that involve the uh, manuscript uh, to be transcribed by the participants. 
Uh, this is the sit situation uh, from the uh, workshop activity in uh, three regions. As you can see, uh, there is um, a picture of manuscript that transcribed into uh, Arabic script, but in Malay language in Sumatra. And the proofread thon is about to start uh, by the end of this month. This is the sample of the uh, metadata that uh, input into the uh, Wikidata. This is the transcribed uh, manuscript, uh, Balinese manuscript, palm leaf. This is the um, Arabic, Malay, and Minakabo man manuscript. Uh, as far as we uh, have done, the uh, digitization has resulting, uh, uh, yeah, it's sig quite significant uh, result. We have uh, almost 20,000 pages of the uh, manuscript um, been digitized, and uh, in short time we will upload it in, uh, to the Wikimedia Commons. We have also cooperation with the British Library. Uh, we uh, have uploaded, re-uploaded uh, the uh, 76 Japanese manuscript from the collection of the British Library to Wikimedia Commons to be uh, able to work on the Wikisource. Okay, thank you so much for, uh, this is the end of the present this, uh, presentation, I think. So, uh, for we, uh, we do practice and we, you can ask, sure? Okay. Terima kasih. Just two questions. Yep. The first. Uh, in what uh, uh, wiki sources uh, were ah, these transcriptions okay. uploaded? In, uh, in how many wiki sources? Yeah, uh, we use three wiki sources. The Balinese using the Balinese wiki source, Japanese using the Japanese wiki source, and the multilingual wiki source for the multilingual uh, manuscript or languages. So for multilingual manuscripts, so you use the, the multilingual wiki source? Yes. Okay. And the second question, uh, which is quite interesting, uh, when uh, you use the uh, competition for the transcription. Uh, how steep was the learning curve? Because uh, when I think of uh, uh, transcribing a manuscript, I think about something quite difficult because uh, manuscript uh, texts are often difficult to understand with uh, abbreviations uh, or strange styles or ancient languages and so on. How did you manage to uh, get many people to transcribe this? Okay, the first, uh, we approached to uh, have the workshop before, yes, uh, to, to uh, make a more candidate to be uh, able uh, to be a, a participant of the um, competition. And also we invite uh, the community of the Indonesian Wikisource. So uh, there are several communities in Indonesia that are uh, uh, focused on Wikisource, like Wikisource, Indo Indonesian Wikisource, Japanese Wikisource community, and also Balinese Wikisource community. So we can contact them and invite them to um, uh, join this competition, uh, as well as the newbies from maybe uh, students from the universities. Uh, there are several uh, guidance from the uh, communities from Indonesia that uh, can be used as uh, help uh, for the newbies like a tutorial, something like that, we have also uh, in our community. Yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, we, we involve uh, many communities here. I think, yeah, we have, uh, we, we should, uh, we need more people to collaborate with uh, this project. Okay, please. Um, so I'm Nicolas Vigneron from Wikisource Community User Group. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and you put, I'm not sure if you know it or not, but the place of Wikidata and relationship with Wikisource is um, always been a question. And I see that you put uh, Wikidata after commands. 
Some people prefer to do the other way around, ah. starting with Wikidata. Uh, why, how, if you have an idea of that, uh, be interested. Okay, that's uh, always challenging, uh, which uh, will be first. You put the data first to Wikidata or the comment. I think it, uh, I, I put the uh, image first, then uh, make uh, uh, item, make an item to in Wikidata and then connect it. Uh, yeah, just, but it's not handy, not really handy, but yeah, it works. Uh, as long as the data still have connection, uh, yeah, we can put uh, all together. And uh, yeah, the question also uh, maybe, how to represent the Wikidata uh, items to more uh, convenient way for the user. Uh, yesterday, I, I, I met a friend from uh, Uruguay, uh, Jorge. He uh, offered a new project that can represent the Wikidata items uh, simpler than uh, the uh, uh, appearance on Wikidata itself. So it uh, could be a, a another option to develop uh, uh, another uh, landing page to search the uh, manuscript or to query the uh, result of the uh, Wikidata. So uh, yeah, we need to collaborate <laughs> more, I think. <laughs> so uh, any question? OK. Uh, I think we can uh, share the digitization process. We have, uh, I have my friend here, uh, Alan. Uh, who is ready with the rig? I don't know how to get, if you can share the screen. Yeah. I'm using Zoom to connect that <laughs> uh, laptop to the screen. So uh, we choose to use the uh, camera with a high resolution uh, ability to get a high resolution image. So uh, there are always options uh, whether you use scanner, cell phone, a mobile phone or camera to use. Uh, it's optional, not uh, as should, yeah, not, uh, but for our standard, we use the camera. Uh, we use camera to take the picture with the uh, exact color from the manuscript. We use the uh, QP card uh, or the color checker to check the RGB standard of the image. So uh, we, uh, we, we do not prefer using the uh, black and white or grayscale uh, image uh, type. We use the full color uh, with the standard. And then we manage to uh, make Code, coding for the uh, manuscript item and also uh, etc. Many things happen under uh, 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 at the back back end of the process. Uh, this is a te technical thing. So Okay, uh, well, while we're waiting, what is happening on the laptop? So we can see there is a sample of the Japanese manuscript with Japanese script and Japanese language from a uh, 19th century made of uh, three bark paper. And this is, we use the uh, application from the camera itself, the Canon uh, EOS utility. And then we need to measure the uh, frame. This is the artistic part. You not only take the picture uh, as what it is, but we have to make it uh, more beautiful to uh, appear. Uh, 
Uh, that is the uh, color checker. As you can see, there's a uh, white and uh, gray, white, black tag uh, at the side. We can check that uh, the color is matched to our standard, uh, the RGB standard, red, green, blue standard. So the uh, manuscript color will match digitally uh, with the uh, uh, physical manuscript. Are we ready? Okay. We have another uh, setting standard for uh, the uh, other specification like uh, ISO setting and also the uh, Kelvin setting. Okay. Um, the image uh, result itself uh, produced two type of uh, image. Uh, the one is GP, uh, JPG or JPEG. The other one is RAW or uh, uncompressed uh, file. Yeah, we can put some music. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, that's also challenging in, in uh, when we uh, uh, do it in uh, in the field. Uh, Sometimes we we have to do it outside or inside the room. Uh, but uh, that's why we choose using the flash, the strong flash, to make it consistent. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do that outside of the room or inside of the room. The uh, flash light can handle the uh, 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 what is the standard. But yeah, even we, we have to uh, make uh, some adjustment in the first time to match the standard. Yeah, uh, what is called calibration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we need calibration. Sometimes one hour calibration to match the standard. Just uh, yeah, because we have the measurement of the uh, uh, whiteness, the RGB, and so on. So that's challenging. Uh, Sometimes uh, oh, in one day we have to uh, readjust or uh, synchronize uh, again uh, after four or five manuscripts. So uh, yeah, that's another uh, things and. Challenging, but yeah, we have uh, experience to do that. We can do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay, this is the result of the manuscript. So we uh, put uh, some uh, different folder for the identity, the recto side, the verso side. The recto is uh, uh, the front, and the verso is the uh, back side of the page. So we uh, also uh, tend to have one page in one shot, but sometimes the manuscript size uh, is small, so we can uh, do one shot two pages. And for the palm list man manuscript, we use one shot two pages uh, because that's a different alignment and a different uh, layout of the text, so we have to uh, make some adjustment. Uh, the challenge uh, in the field also, if we have a big manuscript, uh, this uh, copy stand for the camera is not uh, really good for a uh, big manuscript. Therefore, we use 
uh, hire a tri tripod to handle the bigger uh, manuscripts. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Uh. So there's a question from the chat box, which is yes. from Lucy. Uh, how do you introduce coding to the manuscript? Coding. Uh, do you mean uh, coding for the naming or coding out, uh, <laughs> for the programming? That's a different thing. Yeah, also not very sure. Just reading out the question as it was stated as well. Like, how do you, this was a question at around f about five minutes ago. Yep. So, yeah. I'm guessing it's encoding. Encoding. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, maybe I can answer both of uh, coding or encoding. Uh, the naming uh, encoding, uh, we use uh, several, uh, uh, what is called, uh, determiner. The first, uh, can we have the uh, folder name, Mas Alan? Yep, uh, that one. We have a folder, uh, which the name uh, is WMID0001 and 001. The first uh, two uh, letter uh, reflect the WM Wikimedia project and ID is for uh, the ISO code for the country Indonesia and also uh, zero zero uh, the f uh, the first four digit reflect the uh, number of the owner and the last three digit reflect the number of the manuscript so we can trace uh, where country uh, which owner or which collection and uh, manuscript number uh, what. So uh, because this is a pilot project, we hope uh, our guidelines, we have also uh, arranged a guideline for digitization with this style. Um, we hope this kind of uh, encoding or naming for the file uh, can be used uh, abroad based on country code and uh, collection and the manuscript number itself. And uh, in the metadata, we have also this code, but uh, for the title uh, to be used in Wikimedia Commons or Wikisource, we use the title for, from the text. For example, uh, uh, Ramayana story, we use the uh, title Ramayana for the Balinese text, for example. So not only the code uh, we put on the title. So uh, that's hopefully answer the question. Uh, we will check with her right now. Okay. Yeah, and we'll get back to you. Okay. Thank, thank you so you. much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any comment for this program? Uh, yeah, uh, one that I uh, one thing that I noticed from uh, the project, especially from the uh, uh, friends or communities in the regions, uh, was uh, difficulties on communication with the owner of the collection. How we can uh, approach the owner to be uh, to believe that their collection is uh, can be usable for uh, many people and can be opened uh, freely access uh, the access I mean and we have to make sure that the owner want uh, to be part of the open access uh, activity uh, some of the owner reject to collaborate because the uh, collection uh, is like sacred to them not every single day can be opened, can be read, can be uh, touched. Uh, they, yeah, most of the, the manuscripts still uh, like a cultural uh, taboo. Yeah, so yeah, that's part of the culture and we have to respect that. Uh, we don't force uh, the owner to be part of the project, but yeah, we have to communicate with them uh, in uh, 
kind manner, uh, following their culture, following their uh, uh, habit. If there were a ritual, we joined the ritual. Like in, in Bali, Balinese, uh, very uh, strong in the uh, traditional and cultural ritual. So we also joined the ritual to, uh, to get blessed <laughs> from the ancestor. Uh, so uh, that's very interesting. This is not only about the technicality on uh, digitization and technicality on how to put it on the internet, but uh, how to approach the owner. Uh, yeah, of, of course, uh, license is another uh, thing to discuss whether this manuscript should be uh, open, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, open domain, what, domain, uh, public domain, oh, yes, should be this, the license should be uh, public domain or else, something else. That's also uh, always be a question. Uh, the ownership of the photograph, uh, the, the image, is this uh, owned by the photographer? or the project itself, and the text. The text uh, is, uh, is the text owned by the author or the owner of the manuscript. It's all, uh, always challenging. We, uh, then we put all of the description of uh, the ownership, the authorship, the other uh, uh, things. So everybody can get the credits. The owner, the author, the project, the photographer itself. So, yeah, that's maybe not uh, the best practice for the uh, license for licensing, but at least we can appreciate uh, everyone uh, who involved in the uh, project. So, uh, I'm uh, I was se several time asking to the Creative Commons uh, community in Indonesia, which license should be fit to the manuscript, should be uh, public domain or something else. Yes, please. Ah, yeah. Uh, did you get uh, from your sponsors uh, any mm, condition about copyright? Uh, no, uh, particularly not, not uh, uh, Maybe Masakti can <laughs> comment something about the license from a sponsor from the Mickey Media Foundation. Uh, is there any demand for the licensing? I think the question is more related on the licensing from the um, owners of the manuscripts. But with regards to the licensing itself, all the collections that we have for well, Wilma is already provided by the owners of the manuscripts during the um, uh, field missions. And apart from that, uh, there is a in-kind uh, donation of already digitized manuscript from British Library, which you know uh, we already uh, resolved about the licensing issue. I hope that answers your question. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you, you clearly answered my questions. My, just to uh, talk to the audience. Uh, you know, there is nothing like a free coffee <laughs> or a free beer. So uh, I, thought, uh, I thought about uh, institutions uh, giving sponsorships or giving funds uh, to uh, Wikimedia related uh, um, uh, initiatives uh, or projects. Sometimes they are quite uh, loath about the free licenses and so as long as we talk with libraries uh, or, or uh, state states institutions we do not have uh, real problems but uh, when we talk uh, with uh, private uh, uh, institutions or banks uh, or uh, other firms uh, they want to know if they have any income any, any gain from the from these uh, projects this is very interesting question and thank you so much eduardo well uh, maybe uh, for your context the funding for wiki uh, wilma project actually coming from the wikimedia foundations at that time we have initiatives fund 
And I totally agree with you. Sometimes when we are engaging with private institutions, might be quite challenging, might be quite challenging. It's literally everywhere. But, um, you know, according to my experience, it's based on the you know, mutual understanding and whether there is a line that we need to cross or not. In this case, uh, we would prefer to collaborate with institutions uh, that has, you know, a good intention for heritage preservations. So it's like an option whether we are moving forward from sponsorship uh, from private enterprises, or we can collaborate with maybe government-related institutions or other non-profit foundation that have the same uh, mission alignment with us. So yeah, that's my opinion. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Masakti, for the uh, additional information about this. And and maybe I have another comment ab uh, about the consent uh, to the uh, owner. We have a uh, consent sheet uh, that signed by the owner that the owner uh, willing to uh, uh, collaborate uh, with this program and to upload uh, uh, to be uh, yeah to upload the collection into uh, internet, as, uh, specifically into uh, Wikimedia platforms. Yes, uh, my question yes. is. Uh, sure. Uh, what kind of software you are using for image manipulation? Is it uh, proprietary software or uh, forced software? It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, proprietary. Proprietary. Yes. Okay. This is from, uh, what's it called? ACDC or image? Something like ACDC uh, software. Uh, that's for uh, managing the um, folders as well as to check the uh, color. Uh, standard the RGB standard. Uh, we we uh, don't actually uh, manipulate the color or the image. It's uh, it is what it is from the field. So we have to uh, manage a synchronization or calibration in the first time we uh, set the equipment. So we don't need to manipulate the image. There's no no. Uh, uh, change on the color, for example, or format. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, at the end, we have to convert the images into one PDF file to be uploaded to the uh, Wikimedia Commons. But uh, not changing the uh, size of the image, size of the uh, yeah, you know uh, wide and uh, width and height, and also the resolution. That's uh, converting to PDF also challenging. Sometimes the PDF, uh, PDF uh, software uh, engine, uh, yeah, did something weird that uh, the output of the PDF uh, format is not matched to the uh, original image, JPEG, for example, uh, or the resolution uh, is uh, decreased. Uh, but uh, we always, uh, we can always uh, find solution for that, uh, mostly for. Uh, Converting, uh, we use the open source uh, program uh, from, uh, I'm using Linux actually. Uh, so uh, there are several uh, software can be used, uh, open sourced uh, for converting uh, PDF. Yeah, that's always option optional, whether we use open source software or proper uh, property uh, software. It depends on how we uh, manage the uh, uh, the work workflow and the maybe the budget. <laughs> okay. Do we still have time? Yeah. I'm still open uh, if you have uh, another thing to discuss. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can uh, say something again about the uh, script or the letter or the writing system. Uh, since the uh, writing system uh, uh, in Indonesia is various, uh, not only using the Roman or Latin script, Roman or Latin script uh, is used for Bahasa Indonesia or the national language, but uh, for the manuscript, uh, most of them not using Latin or Roman script, but using the traditional uh, scripts like Balinese, Javanese. The question is how uh, the uh, user can use 
to type can use the uh, uh, indigenous scripts to type on the wiki source. Uh, fortunately, uh, several of the manuscript has been uh, accepted by the international uh, organization like ISO or Unicode, so we can uh, uh, use the uh, script, the indigenous script, uh, by the uh, international standard that used by the uh, wiki media wiki platform, for example. Uh, that's very important to uh, to represent um, the text, the literature, um, like the original uh, source. Uh, when the source uh, manuscript, uh, the script, I mean, when the script of the, the manuscript is not available in the Unicode, for example, it's another challenge to be uh, worked in the wiki source. So everything has to be uh, uh, have standard on the Unicode for uh, script codification, so uh, we can work on the digital uh, uh, ecology, what is it? ecosystem. Yeah, sorry. That's also challenging because uh, not many people in Indonesia can type on the indi indigenous script, uh, even though the uh, indigenous script. Uh, are taught in the schools, but only for educational uh, purpose, not for daily uh, activity. We still uh, uh, can see if we go to Java, everything uh, is written uh, in Latin or Roman script. But uh, maybe uh, since past five years, the uh, rev revival of the uh, indigenous script in several uh, a region like Bali, uh, we can see the uh, signs, several signs in uh, airports or uh, governmental office, uh, no reuse uh, the indigenous scripts. Uh, I don't know if they can uh, bring the indigenous script to be able as daily uh, use, but uh, uh, fortunately the digital environment like uh, wiki source can uh, can be a good uh, documentation uh, platform for the uh, indigenous script in the digital platform okay uh, that's all i think if uh, yes we still have time but uh, i'm finished thank you so much for the attention and if you have any question uh, please uh, uh, let me know maybe after the session or on the free session. Thank you so much and bye.